Hey everyone, wanted to give you some instruction on how to download and install SPSS. This video is as of April 9th, so instructions may change slightly, but just wanted to walk you through how to install that as well as how to license the software. So the first thing you'll do is you're going to go to my UT account .utilito.edu. Click on the login button. You're going to sign in with your username and password. Then you're going to hit the SPSS for students button if you're a student. If you're a faculty, obviously use the SPSS for faculty staff. So if you're a student, click the SPSS for students and you're going to download one of the versions seen here. Um, right now we support version 25. I know 26 is available. Uh, if you need 26, go ahead and go with 26. But if you can use 25, um, I know it's a more stable version uh, currently at this moment. So click one on the Mac or the Windows version. Also, don't forget to write down this number. So SPSS 25 has a license authorization code. You're going to want to write down the number right here if you're using SPSS 25. And write down this number if you're using and downloading SPSS 26. Now, please note that this has an expiration date. So these will change every year, right around this time. So right around April, you'll see a new code that you'll need to go to this web website, and you're going to have to register another code. Um, I'll show you what you do with this later. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and download this, and I'm going to fast forward to having the application installed. Okay, so I have the SPSS installed. Uh, used all the default settings, didn't change anything. Um, but now I need to activate the license, okay? You remember we... Right here we had this license that we wrote down. Now, we're, we have to run the SPSS license authorization with her. So I'm going to type in the search bar here, SPSS. And one of the items that's going to pop up, and it might not be the first one for you, but the IBM SPSS Statistics 25 License Authorization Wizard. You have to run this application first before you run the application. Right, click next so the first thing we need to do is we need to authorize a user license we are not using a concurrent license I know that this is a uh, University of Toledo organization or a uh, a site license however we do not use the second uh, link here we actually use the first option authorized user license so click that click next and here's where you're actually entering your code you're going to type in that code and hit next and there you go your software is registered Okay, finish. Now we're going to go run SPSS. All right, and there you go. SPSS is working. Right down here at the bottom it says SPSS Statistics Processor is ready. So you're all set to go. I hope that helps.